Hey guys, Spernix Fortune here today, and uh, well, I have kind of an update video for you guys. Uh, most of you know that I do reactions and all that stuff, but um, I actually have an announcement to make. I made a new channel, and it's called Sparrow Reacts. The link will be in the description. Uh, <clears throat> that's basically where all of the reactions that I do from now on are going. So. If you like the reactions, you are going to have to go to that channel instead. What Sparrow9642 will focus around now is um, A Pony's Tale and audiobooks. And anything not related to like reacting. If there's stuff that has not to do with the reacting, you will find it on this channel. However, all reactions will be going to the other channel. That includes Daughter of Discord, um, Princess Trixie Sparkle, I actually need to get that up, <laughs> uh, and The Silent Ponyville, which I really am liking that series. Now, those ones are going to be staying on this channel, but, <clears throat> excuse me, holy shit. Uh, but, from now on, everything else will be going to the other channel. I just decided to make a new channel because... Not to get more views and subscribers, because I just want to mix things up a bit. Because I wanted to mix things up on the channel and kind of make it a little easier for me. So if you guys want to subscribe to see more reactions, link is in the description. Also, I have a another update for you guys. Recently, Midnight Chimes MLP did a reaction to, uh, well, he didn't do a reaction, but a review. To a pony's tail equestrious ball and he gave it the most harsh punishment that i have ever seen and the most stupid i'd love to know where this guy got his writing knowledge from because in the video itself he conflicts his own script like first writing tip skip straight to the point okay let's take uh something like oh i don't know harry potter and let's just skip to straight to the point Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. What would have happened is uh, if we were to just skip straight to the point and not add any, you know, other story, you know, like other, you know, story to it, like stuff that gives the thing life, is we would have had Harry Potter meeting Hermione and Ron, uh, running into Fluffy, uh, finding out Nicholas Fumel is the maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. They go into the through the trap door. Um, and they kill, uh, what's his face? Professor Quirrell. That would literally be it. That would last like, uh, six minutes and it would be boring. Harry Potter would not even be a movie if we were to skip straight to the point and it would have probably not even gotten published unless it was a kid's book. Now, this scenario works in kid's books because kid's books, uh, yeah, you need to keep the, the attention span of like a two, three, four year old, which is pretty small. You need to keep their attention, so of course you're going to skip straight to the point. But when it comes to like longer stories like this, A Pony's Tale Equestrious Ball is, very long, is a much longer story. So you need to add side plots to keep it interesting and all that stuff. So now we move along to the next part which conflicts with your theory completely mr midnight chimes you said in the scene where <clears throat> i uh where i have celestia tell the main six that she has to keep her feelings hidden so because she can't worry about luna she has to stay you know and she has to hide her feelings for her subject's sakes okay uh and you said that i should actually put that in let me ask you, if you want me to skip straight to the stinking point, why would I go off track on Celestia's feelings? Hmm? Why? It doesn't, it's not even part of the story. It's not part of the main line. Therefore, those two things conflict with each other. They, they crash. They don't make sense. That's exactly what's going on right there, Mr. Midnight Chimes. You conflicted your own script. So, next time, before you even try to judge my script, judge your own. You can keep that video up. I don't give a crap because I just laughed at it. I literally did. Because you 
conflicted your own stuff. Also, if I can give you any advice, you're never going to get more than freaking 50 subscribers on YouTube if you continue to act the way you are. You're acting like a selfish asshole who does not give a crap about anybody else. Basically, Gordon Ramsay or Simon Cowell is what you remind me of, only they actually give harsh criticism where it is needed. When you actually reacted to my thing, you sounded like a you sounded like a ranting and raging bitch. That's literally what you sounded like. You were ranting. That is not criticism, my friend. And that's not even harsh criticism. I know what criticism sounds like, and that is not criticism. That, my friend, is ranting. That is a ranting and complaining. That's not a review. You are not an analyst. You said that you joined the analyst community. Take a look at a good analyst like, oh, I don't know, KP. And you'll see what analyzing is truly like. You don't go around telling, oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is terrible. The audio is just fucking awful. Yeah, you don't do that, mister. It's so stupid. You're stupid. You're an asshole. And that is why you are not getting no likes on your channel. You are not getting no comments. You are just an asshole. I'll just say that. If you guys don't believe me, go to his channel. I also would like to state another thing about one of your videos. You said fans of MLP should not write MLP fanfiction. Then why the hell do you have a freaking fanfiction account? You're a fan of MLP and you write fan fanfiction. Therefore, you conflicted yourself. Again, I'm done talking about you. But anyways, guys, that was just an update video. Go to the link in the description if you want to continue to see the reactions. And until next time, take care. This is Baronets for 2 for now and Brohuff.